Hello and welcome everyone to this video of Space Engineers. My name is Ronin and I'm going to be showing you how to make an automatic space en space elevator. Sorry. Uh, now I built this basic structure here. It's actually a large ship. It doesn't look anything like a ship or anything, but um, you know it suits its purpose for this demonstration. Now the reason why I came up with this design is because before um, before rotors came out, I was using a small ship to propel myself along a rail system, like many others have done. And, you know, it just wasn't efficient. Um, I would crash sometimes, uh, the thing would derail. I mean, it's just, it just wasn't a good, um, a good system. So when Rotus came out, I thought, okay, how can I improve on that? Um, how can I make an actual elevator that works properly? So this is what I came up with. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and close these hangar doors. Now, the reason why I used these doors, uh, in this demonstration is also to show that you know there are some door concepts where there is actually no gap for any astronauts to get in or anything you know and they close perfectly um, I've seen a lot of doors out there which which are kind of I don't know I, I like things to, to you know to, to fit and uh, that's why I thought I'd share this with you I mean from the outside if you camouflage it properly you can't see that there's a door there you know so uh, this is a simple design with only two rotors, but you can have other designs which open four-way like that with four rotors and whatever. But I thought I'd keep it simple. It's just uh, just to show you guys what you can actually do in the game. So this is my elevator. I've put in some windows here to see whether the elevators here are on another floor, simply to see what floor you're on when you're inside the elevator. Although from the inside, obviously, I could have color-coded these so that you see on which floor you're at. Anyway. The actual elevator I've kept of, you know, a decent size. You can make it bigger or small. It's up to you. But, uh, you know, to stabilize it, I mean, small. The smaller the better. But this is fine as well. I mean, you can make it bigger than that and without any issue. So let's go ahead and activate it. It's just a one rotor um, elevator, and it's set between zero and 180 degrees, which means at 180 degrees it'll be at its topmost position and at zero degrees it'll be at its uh, bottommost position it might be the other way around but uh, basically it's just to give you an idea of what the range is here you saw we passed the second floor as well um, in order to stop at the second floor you have you have to set the angle at a specific angle uh, and depending on how many floors you have and the the height of your elevator etc uh, you'll need to adjust that accordingly. Not not the actual height of this uh, elevator room or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's more the 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 connecting rod below. Um, I'll show you I'll show you that later. But basically, you'll have to you know tweak it. I think mine the second floor is 78 degrees or something like that. Um, but yeah, you can have several floors. You don't just have to have one floor on the bottom and one floor on the top. Now. I've also put in another elevator here. Um, the reason why I've done that is because I thought, okay, you can also use that for, for you know, um, spaceship carriers and stuff like that. Uh, so basically, what you do is you just open up the top of your ship. You'd have your fighter pilots, you know, scramble into their fighter pilots uh, from the hangar bay, and then you just raise up the platform like so and just allow them to take off then you'd close it again and you know I don't know I, I thought it was pretty cool to use just like you know just like real aircraft carriers um, but yeah that's just another another way of using it so the actual mechanism you have one rotor at the bottom or at the top whichever way around your uh, your elevator set up a second one which is free pivoting and a third one which is also free pivoting so this one's this one's the actual rotor which does all the work and these just move according to this one very important to have um, these landing gears on either side this stabilizes the central rod which connects to the uh, elevator or landing pad in this case um, because if you don't have that this whole thing will you know swivel left or right depending and uh, you know, you just won't have anything that's straight, so it kind of defeats the purpose. 
uh, let me just show you how it works. I think I got them six, yeah, seven. Right. So this would be the second one. So as you can see, this one rotates, and then these also pivot, not saving, and then this comes down. Now, obviously, it was vertical before, or I mean, I'm I'm in space, so I don't actually know whether it's vertical or not. But uh, I think it's vertical. I, I think we're in. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, 180 degrees to zero degrees is basically a whole semicircle. Any more, and you'll just be going back up the same direction that you came from. So either going, uh, in this case, we would be going back up. So you know, it doesn't make sense to. Uh, Unless you want to have something that goes up and down continuously, that's that's up to you. But uh, then it's not really an, ele an elevator anymore. Same thing over here for our elevator. You see the actual um, elevator room up here with the connecting rod or shaft, whatever you want to call that. I don't know. With the landing gears on either side. Now, if you're doing this on a um, on a large ship, what I suggest is because you might be using landing gears, um, you know, you might be activating landing gears for something else, such as torpedo launchers or, um, uh, I don't know, your own capital ship landing gears. If you want to have that, I mean, I don't see the point of that, but yeah, you know, if you were to have that, you would want to secure this in place when you're inside the elevator. So you, you'd like, you'd need to have some kind of. Uh, I'm just, I'm just doing something basic here, but you know, you just want to have this right here on either side um, that you can just activate from inside the elevator so that it stays stable when your ship's actually flying around and it doesn't you know move around because these might get damaged you know I mean it's really close together but this can still wobble a bit um, and you don't want it to break now in terms of actual reliability um, I'll just show you at maximum velocity it does break off at maximum velocity a little bit um, but compared to, you know, if you were using a rail system and trying to go that fast, you just break everything. Uh, this actually stays pretty stable and you can, I, I haven't broken it completely. It's just, you know, it goes a little bit off course. See, I mean, it's still, okay, a bit of damage, whatever, but the integrity of the whole thing stays and you can just go up and down like that. It doesn't really affect it that much. It just breaks off a little bit more each time you do this but yeah see it's just not that straight anymore but that's the basic um, thing that I like about it as well is that it's resistant you know you can do this uh, what happened here oh, I just oh I did the wrong one okay let's go and see what what damage that did to this yeah same here you know it's still up little bit of damage on the side here but you know no big deal and I mean if you're using elevators like this you're not gonna want to use maximum velocity I mean it's it's not the point of the, of, uh, of the exercise here okay how to make them so now we come into the part of how to actually make this elevator so you start off with your first rotor now the number of blocks you put here will determine uh, the minimum and maximum distance your elevator can travel so that all depends on you and your requirements for that elevator. Now we'll keep it at three blocks for now. The number of blocks here is determined by the number of blocks that you have here. Um, I'll explain why later, but it basically means that you need twice the amount of blocks that you have here onto here, plus one block, so you'll have seven. Right, because two times three equals six, plus one equals seven. So then the third rotor comes down here, and then you go two blocks down. The length here is up to you, really. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it's up to how. I mean, the the more the more landing gears you have to secure it on either side, the better. Um, but you also don't want to make it too much because otherwise, obviously, it takes way too much space in a station or or in a ship, especially. So you go two blocks apart and you just put in your. Uh, 
your blocks and then place your landing gears on either side. Well, I hope I I hope I didn't just hit that because otherwise I'm going to have to start again. We'll see. So sometimes this won't work the first time you do it, such as now. And in such in cases like that, I suggest you just delete that and do it again. It doesn't take long anyways. It just takes like a second. Because otherwise it's just gonna be a pain in the backside to uh to set up again. I mean you have to delete blocks and and paste them back on, etc. I mean it's not worth it. Just start again. It doesn't take long as you can see. So two blocks down. And then now it should be fine. I don't know why this happens, see it is fine. I don't know why this happens, but uh, it does sometimes, so yeah. Okay, this is the fully extended position, so you want to make sure that uh, you leave enough space between your first landing gear, or the end of this rod, and your actual elevator shaft, uh, room or cabin, whatever. Otherwise, when this comes down, because this is fully extended, when it moves back 180 degrees, this will actually move downwards and hit your landing gear, so you don't want that to happen. Uh, we have three blocks here, so I think that this will mean that it's going to move down four blocks, if I'm not mistaken. So one, two, three, four. This should be the point that the bottom of our elevator. So we can build the platform here, basically. I'll just build it like this for now, it doesn't matter because it's just for testing and showing you guys how it's made. We are currently at 90 degrees, which is good. So we'll bring this back down to zero. And we'll put this to 180. And there we go, we fixed it and now it should be fine. Fully extended, then you go ahead and invert the velocity, and there we go. Perfect. And that's how you make it. Alright guys, that's it for me. I hope you found this video useful and uh, that you'll be able to implement it into your own designs. Have fun in Space Engineers and I'll see you soon. So, now let's go over how to actually make this. So you start off with your main rotor, which we'll be doing all the... Ah, fucking Facebook!